The legend of an underworld, or the inner earth, have abound historical literature and ancient belief systems, with some more serious believers in this theory who, although with nefarious intention, spent considerable funds in the pursuit of the gateway to this realm. Archaeological documentation of its existence is found throughout the ages, seemingly adding validity no matter how hard to believe it persuaded said group's greatest minds into the pursuit of its existence. Within antiquity, specifically Greek, ancient Egyptian belief systems, a gateway to an underworld, was at the time commonly associated with a passageway into hell and the passage through. Representative of these acts include Hades, Osiris, Anubis, etc., with the Greeks even creating necropolises, claiming gateways were often located at the meeting of three rivers. Journey through the underworld. With the Egyptian scripture, we feel not only being the most elaborately constructed, but by that measure the most intriguing to explore. Throughout the underworld journey, the traveler contended with strange beings and gatekeepers, with Osiris found within the Hall of Final Judgment, here the plea of case for entry into the afterlife. The Final Judgment involved a two-part process. Standing before the 42 divine judges, here they stood before 42 divine judges and pleaded their innocence of any wrongdoing during their lifetime. Part 2. The Weighing of the Heart Ceremony The heart, which contained a record of all the deceased's actions in life, was weighed against the feather of the goddess Ma'at. This feather was the symbol for truth and justice, and helped determine whether the deceased person had indeed been virtuous. The afterlife. Known as life in the field of rushes, a reflection of the real world perfected. Blue skies, rivers, and boats for travel, gods and goddesses to worship, and fields and crops to be plowed and harvested. The dead were granted a plot of land in the field of rushes and were expected to maintain it. However, other theories arose over the years. These far more commonly connected to the posit of inner earth theory, with portal into the center of our planet, one in which advanced beings dwell. Probably the most famous of ventures and eventual retreats who attempted to find this portal within Antarctica. Curiously, now, not only believed by the Americans, but also the Nazis as the location of the portal reportedly encountered craft of incredibly advanced capabilities. But there were also other attempts, more covert, only partly declassified over the years, showing an intense interest in this same area by the Third Reich, who, while in power during the Second World War, initiating a number of expeditions whose results still remain closely guarded secrets. Many have died or mysteriously vanished without a trace, looking for this elusive portal's validity, now believed to be positioned in one of the most inhospitable geographical locations on Earth. Yet its belief throughout history is undeniable, and as such is a theory which we find highly compelling.